Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you're not, like I said, welcome back. I did one of these a long time ago. It's probably been about two years ago. Uh, I closed my eyes and I just kind of drew some shapes. I used to do this in high school. I think I called it the scribble method last time I did it. After I draw the shapes and close my eyes, I'm gonna erase some lines um, and then I will take the picture that is finalized on the paper put it on some canvas and we will paint something. Last time it ended up being like a picture of the earth. And then there was like a goldfish at the bottom and like some weird like pollution come down or something. I was gonna work on Squirtle today. Um, as gross as he is, he's been outside for like two years. He is just gonna have to continuating. I'm sorry, Squirtle. Maybe one day you will be completed. So for today, we're going to be doing the scribble method, see what else we can come up with, try to paint something crazy. You guys are actually gonna be able to see it um, kind of up, more up close. Hopefully it picks everything up okay. I know I've got a big sketch pad here. And if you guys wanna do this with me, you're welcome to, or you can watch this video later and you can try to do this on your own. It's really simple. It helps you get, like if you're ever stuck in a like I don't know what to paint kind of rut it it um it'll help your creative juices flow you know your creative your creativity in your brain so without further ado I'm just going to close my eyes and we are going to just start drawing some shapes and lines and then I'm going to open my eyes we're going to erase and see what kind of monstrosity we come up with You really just want to just, I mean, there's really no right or wrong with this. It's just because there's going to be, it's not even going to look like what you drew at the end of it anyways, most likely. Um, because you're going to be erasing lines. trying to you want them to you want the shapes you don't want to space them out you want to make sure they interlock because what's that what that's going to do is it's going to create different shapes within those shapes and then when you erase it it's going to turn out to be something else so um I'm gonna put another circle here circle up here i hope my dog does not knock down my camera kind of weird like splatter shape and maybe a weird just some sort of shape not even a triangle and then we'll do some other weird sort of shape going down this way that's gonna make it a little more fun too So now I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to look at whatever this mess is that I have drawn on my paper. We're going to try to pick out some shapes. So I actually kind of like this. I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't even know if that's picking it up. But I kind of like this without even making, making something out of it. This is not what I was planning on doing. But since I like it like this, I'm actually going to keep it. Um, and I'm going to just try to see if I can recreate it on the canvas and we'll add some funky colors and uh, maybe some like palette knife stuff and we'll see what we can do. Let's go. Okay, so as I said outside, this is not what I was expecting to happen, but like y'all might can see it a little bit better now and it may not look like, well, you may not be able to see it. it's pretty light. It may not look like a whole lot yet. Um, what I'm going to do now, and I'm kind of worried about it because I want it to look as messy 
on here as it does on here, if that makes sense. So this is gonna be a little bit tougher than just drawing it out with my eyes closed. You know, it kind of makes me think of, um, y'all remember the old Taco Bell? Like the um, old Taco Bell print? Like it doesn't look exactly like that, but I'm kind of getting the whole like 90s vibe, vibes. All right, so I realize that y'all can't really see it well. Basically all I did was got some white paint and I painted over the canvas after I had drawn on it. This is gonna prevent me from having to paint around each individual line. You just wanna make sure that your pencil drawings or whatever you're using, I used pencil this time, that way I could erase if I didn't want a line there, but uh, you just want to make sure that they are dark enough to where when you paint over it with the white, it's still going to show through. Now, if you're going to paint black on this, I would recommend painting black on it prior to drawing on the canvas. Um, and if you watched my last video of the octopus painting, I actually used an eraser from a pencil to draw um, to kind of outline my lines on the black canvas, and that seemed to work pretty well. That way it's easier to dust off and and you're not having to paint over, um, you know, your white paint every time. So anyway, we're gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna paint some, uh, some colors on here. All right, y'all, so we are done with our abstract art. Um, I wasn't really sure how to feel about it at first. I was afraid I ruined it whenever I did the smudges along the edges, but then once I started adding the spots, I feel like it made it look a little bit better. So this is what we come out with in the end. This time, whenever I sat down to do the scribble method, um, I wasn't expecting it to come out looking like this, but it is definitely unique. Uh, you can turn it different ways to kind of see what you can make of it. Anyway, y'all just let me know 
<laughs> what do you think it looks like, or maybe you just think I need to just toss it in the trash? Anyway, here is the final product. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Um, and of course, I will put the Discord link in the description below. You're welcome to join that. But that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will hopefully catch y'all next Friday. Bye!